Hey everyone, this is Shag, and welcome back to Let's Play Health and Safety. I mean, uh, a thing. What this thing is, is an experiment. Because I want to know, if I take a game like, say, Final Fantasy V, if I decided I want to Let's Play this game because I'm a fool, how much time would I save if I were to cut out all of the plot cutscenes because nobody cares about the plot of Final Fantasy V. I just show gameplay with a unique twist, etc. So basically, what this video is is an experiment where I'll cut out all the plot and replace it with title cards that sum up what you need to know in about like four lines of text maximum. And I will speed up, I'll speed through all of the random boring encounters with the turbo feature, this, and then I'll leave the bosses normally, and there'll be some sort of twist involved. So anyway, let's cut the plot in half. Here we are at the title screen, our first exciting bit of gameplay. Press any button! I choose you! Two! And of course we must start a new game. Well, there's more plot to go! Meet our lovely protagonist, Mr. Chocobo. Okay, so that's not true, but this is the world map, and I am controlling this friggin' Chocobo as much as I feel pleased to. This is no cutscene. Don't worry, we'll get back to plot in a minute. So, with our little man, we can run around the forest. Joys of joys. I'm sure everybody knows what the heck's going on in this game by now. Oh my god, goblins! Oh my god, talking! Oh, what's this? An important decision in our lives! Yes, this is Bart's. Well, as some may know, in the fan translation before this came out in the Americas, they called him Butts. And everybody giggled silently at their computer screens. But then he was later officially given the oh, officially given the name Bart's. But I prefer to give him my own spin on it. It's not like he has too much character to begin with. Okay, that's unfair. He has a little bit. If I actually did let's play this game for real, which is very unlikely. I have to say that I would leave some plot elements, namely anything involving Gilgamesh or X-Death. But that is just because they are awesome. Exciting world map exploration! What? We are walled off by mountains? Well, I suppose this is the only way to go! What? More plot occurs! Oh my god, goblins again! Oh my god, goblins again! Okay, this line is actually worth pausing for, just cause Galuff is silly, and kind of awesome. Hooah. Alright, it's- we're gonna be on our way to some sort of place thing soon enough. What do we got? What do we got? Why, it's a cave! A cave is the first exciting destination of every budding adventure, etc. So yeah. We're in a cave, and as is the beginning of Final Fantasy V like, English, talk, we are all freelancers, jobs are important. Yeah, you know this already. What I would do is if I actually did this game, which is unlikely, would be to do the entire game as one class, which is some sort of challenge that many people have done. Oh yeah, config. Let's bore you all by not cutting the config changing while still cutting all the plot elements from this video. Because I am an amazing host. Actually, that's not that bad. Yeah. That was exciting. Bats and crabs! Stupid bats. Mud crabs, horrible creatures. Everywhere. Now, the reason that this game is unlikely that I would play it, 
case you're wondering, since I keep saying that. Pirates! But, uh, is that because you'll notice in my Pokemon Gold videos that I run out of stuff to talk about, and I probably have even less to talk about in videos like this. Bird gets capped because he is first in party and I'm lazy. Oh no, a back attack! This is the part where I'd explain game mechanics if you didn't already know them. Switch. Plot! Shortest plot ever. Okay. Fighting! Wow. Fighting only gets interesting in Final Fantasy once you have access to more abilities than the fight command. I could make the most boring LP ever by using only the Berserker class, which is computer controlled and only uses the fight command. So essentially I'd be holding down the fast forward button and hoping I won. That'd be fun. Oh yeah, plot. Bert is not good at ships! So here we are at the Wind Shrine. Yeah, that was... The Wind Shrine is our first major destination. Because we have to go talk to the Crystal of Wind or something. You all know the plot. Oh yeah, that's Forest. It, it, pirate. Yeah, that's basically it. For now. So the Wind Shrine. Yeah. It's another dungeon where you have nothing but the fight command. It's totally super fun and exciting. As you know, later dungeons are more than this. I am accidentally gathering treasure, and that was not my intention. I think I just intended to go through to the end. But, I don't know. Exciting. What is a mold wind? I have never heard of this thing in psychology or mythology classes that I do not think. That is an empty room. It is an important part of the structure. Speaking of important parts of the structure, this is a fake wall. Now that we have a broadsword, we can finally give old man Gulaf something besides his fists. Now we can punch people with swords. This is a boss! It's the first boss, so it's either going to kill you or not kill you, much like every other boss in the game. Now, you see, the trick with the Wing Raptor is if you attack when its tail is up, it's going to fire a laser. That's not exactly true. But it's one of those first bosses that all Final Fantasy games do. It's like, oh my god, I have two forms, and in one of them, I do this thing! But it looks like I'm doing it anyway. Ah ha ha. I love being a boss. That was a potion. You drink it, and it heals you. Oh man. So basically, we attack this guy until he closes his wings, and then we do not attack him until he opens his wings. You know this. Look! Demonstrations! I love fast forward. It's so good. And... And... Wholesome. Yep, he died. That phoenix is down. <laughs> anyway, plot incoming. Brace ourselves. Oh my god, Crystal! Now we have jobs. And now that we have jobs, we can get paid. Sort of. Oh no. Those are the... Those are the regular jobs. But I think I have a trick up my sleeve here. Da da da. Oh, it does not save the cheats. Well, screw you, Vert Visual Boy Advance. Oh man, totally cheating. So, with that magic happening, all the jobs! Now, see, this is what I would do if I was actually going to play this game. That is, I would. Well, mouse cursor, go away. Uh, heh <laughs> <clears throat> that is, if I actually played this game, what I would do is, I would activate the job cheat, and then I would give everyone the same job. What job shall we fiddle with for this testing purpose? Hmm, well, 
many jobs. Well, hey, look, it's the jobs added to the thing. You know that. Uh, it's the Berserker. They do nothing. Interesting. Let's see. <laughs> Let's go. Everyone's a Mystic Knight. That'll be fun, won't it? Fun once we get magic commands, that is. They are a fairly interesting class, so why the heck not? Not like this video is going to be fairly interesting without something fairly interesting in it. Words of wisdom. If something is not interesting, it isn't interesting. So now that all of our characters look totally whatever, we can actually go to some place and do something. Da 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 da! Warp out! Faster!